Good morning, everyone. Oh, boy. There's a little glare. Wait a minute. Where's my hand? Oh, right here. See that? That that window. My window is open. So there's a glare. Y'all forgive me for the glare. I'm going to go over there and close it in a minute. But I'm just going to sit here. I'm trying to um, clean up a little bit. But it's not going so well so far. <laughs> but anyway, it looks like a moving, right? Well, this is a junk. This is a cover that I got to sew all these strings in. It's something that I had started, I don't know, maybe two or three years ago. And this is strap yarn. A whole bunch of scrap yarn is in here. These are the curtains. Wait a minute. Can I see in here? Those are the curtains that I ordered that I'm going to send back to Amazon. In these two boxes. See, this is a little box. It's got one set of curtains in and this one has two sets of curtains in I gotta send those back which I had asked my granddaughter yesterday if she would take me to Kohl's to take them back to Kohl's but she didn't call me so I'm assuming she's busy you know I understand she's got four children she's got to take her uh, two oldest ones to camp and you know and she's got twins the little twins are two they're gonna be three I think uh, yeah next month they're gonna be three and um this is my Toshiba box. You know, the box that I got my toaster oven in. And I'm thinking about sending it back because it's too hot. It gets too hot. You know, if I want to bake something, I can't put it on 350. I got to lower that temperature down to like 300 or something. I, I want something that's more precise. And then plus that, you see how wide it is? I want something that will be, that can fit right here because it's taking up a lot of counter space and I got a lot of woes, you know, a lot of complaints, but later on today, I'm not going to have any complaints at all because you know what, I'm having me some short ribs, y'all, be short ribs. I hope they taste right, you know, because a lot of times I get food, it tastes wild. And do you remember when you used to could buy short ribs? You know, they're just in the meat, you know, section. You could just go there and pick up a pack of meat. They weren't vacuum packed like that. And, you know, it's the same thing with the uh, oxtail. They're usually like that. They're vacuum sealed, you know, with that sealed up like that. I don't know what's going on, y'all, but I know one thing. The, the uh, shelves in the stores are getting pretty empty. Oh, yeah. They're getting empty, which I wanted to go to the store. Matter of fact, I was going to order something from Amazon. I got to figure out how to do it. I want to order some um, mixed vegetables, you know, the canned mixed vegetables, Del Monte. Oh, they didn't have any in the stores the other day, the other day, and... So, Amazon has them. Might cost me a little more, but it'll be worth it because they're going to bring them right to the door. I'll tell you, it's getting rough, y'all. I don't know what the situation is or what's about to break off, pop off, or whatever. I don't know what's going on. But I know this much. I got a little bit of food. I got to get me some. I got to get me some. Um, uh, I got to get some rice. And some dried beans, but you know, that's another thing I can't find. I can't find the uh, dried lima beans. And I, and the black eyed peas, you know, stuff like along those. I can find the uh, lentils and I think northern beans, some other kind of beans they got over there, but uh, you know, I don't like those. I just, I just like, excuse me, uh, I just like the lima beans and the uh, black eyed peas. But lima beans really is my favorite. Couldn't find them. Look in the frozen. So I want to get a chance to go maybe um, out to um, one of the stores like on the outskirts or somewhere, you know, that sort of sell southern stuff, you know. <coughs> Which they used to have one around, uh, um, uh, not too far from here, but now they've moved out. 
place called Ferraro's. They didn't move to North Haven. I guess the people were stealing from them, doing a lot of stealing over there because they live right, you know, across from the projects. So I guess people say, well, hey, I'm going over here and get dinner. <laughs> it's not funny, y'all, trust me. But I, I, you know, I'm just, you know, <laughs> I just got a giggle box. I can't help it. You know, it's natural with me to giggle. And unfortunately, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get over it, trying to get past that, too. Um, but anyway, this place is out there in North Haven, and they do cater you know, they really used to cater in, uh, into, like, a lot of southern foods and stuff. You know, you get the southern sausages, and you could just go there and get the, you know, smoked ham. And and there was another store right down the street, not too far from where I lived, that used to have a lot of southern stuff. You could even get the southern cornmeal to make your hush puppies, to make your cornbread smoked sausage, all the type of sausages that, you know, they sell down south. Green, they used to call it green sausage down there. And then you get the smoked ham. I'm talking real smoked ham. I ain't talking that stuff that you get over here, you know, up here in the north. I'm talking about that stuff they, that stuff they put in the smokehouse. And they actually smoke it. I forgot what kind of wood they use, though. I think it's hickory. Or apple, it depends. I guess it depends on, uh, you know, what type of ham you're going to get. And they had all that at the stores. And people used to flock there, you know, when they got their little money or they got their little food stamp checks or something like that. And, you know, most of us here are from North and South Carolina. Some Virginians met one guy from a Louisiana. He's my uh, niece's dad. May his soul rest in peace. But he's the only person that I ever met from Louisiana. <laughs> I ain't never met nobody from Louisiana. And then I think my uh, ex-husband's brother's wife, I think she was from Virginia or, or what you call that other one? Virginia? There are two Virginias, right? But I know there's a North and South Carolina because I'm from North Carolina myself, born and bred. Uh, West Virginia, uh, West Virginia and Virginia. I think that's the way it goes. You know, the mountainous places and stuff like that. And I don't know anybody, you know, from North, from, there's a whole lot of states. Somebody told me if they came here and said, I'm from Kentucky. All right, from where? I'm from Oregon. Hmm? No, not gonna happen. I'm East Coast. I've never left the East Coast in my life. I've wanted to. But, you know, I'm scared to fly. Scared to sail. I'm scared to get on a ship. I'm just a great big fat quack, quack, quack. No, uh, quack, quack, quack. Big chicken. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm, I'm afraid to fly. And I've never flown. Never been inside of an airplane. Never been aboard a ship, cruise ship, boat. Nothing like that. I've always had my flat feet on the ground, y'all. But like they say, fear has torment, you know. And then you're missing out on a lot of things when you're, fear, when you're fearful like that. But at this late day in my, uh, late time in my age, I don't think I'm going to change at this point. I'll just be happy to walk around, you know, here and there. Ride around on my old bulls around. And I'm content. And my eyes are still bu uh, burning a little bit. I noticed this morning again. And and they look a little puffy, which that's not unusual, puffy. But they look more puffy. So I put some drops in there, y'all. That's all I can do. They feel a little better if I put the drops in there. But it's something in the air. The weatherman was saying something about some smoke coming from somewhere. Matter of fact, when, when I first noticed it, that I think that was Monday or Tuesday. I forgot when it was, Monday or Tuesday. This is when he was talking about some smoke, because I didn't know anything about no smoke that was coming way over here. I guess from the wildfires that are burning, and the smoke come over here, and it's been irritating my eyes. So, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Diagnose your own problem. <laughs> 
I'm doing just the opposite of what the doctor tells you or what everybody tells you. Do not try to diagnose your own problems, your especially your medical problems. You don't know what's wrong with you. And the doctor don't know what's wrong with you because when you go to him, that you go to the doctor, what's the first thing the doctor going to ask you? Well, what brings you here this morning? How are you doing? What seems to be the problem? He's asking you what the problem is. Okay, doctor, I've been having headaches. I've been having backaches. And then he decides what he's going to do, you know, just based on what you're telling him uh, to go forward. He's going to either get him some x-rays or he wants a sample of you-know-what, the one that comes out the back, the one that comes out the front. <laughs> He definitely is a vampire. He wants some of your blood. And he's going to demand some of that. <laughs> and then when the test results comes back, he pretty much be able to tell you what's ailing you. But, you know, a lot of us, we do uh, try to diagnose our own problems. And we declare, don't ever read a medical book, y'all, because you read a medical book, book it's good. I guess y'all say I chew gum all the time, which is basically, but I, I just forgot to take it out. If you read a medical book, you will declare that you got those symptoms. That's for sure. I remember my mother had a medical book, you know, like when we was coming up and everything. And uh, I remember, I know my sister's going to probably get upset with me for saying this, but she was reading the medical book. Well, she couldn't figure out why she hadn't seen her friend, okay? A monthly friend that comes to visit us ladies. And so, she came to the conclusion that she had a menopause. <laughs> My mother said, yeah, you got a menopause. You got that nine months menopause. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know why I thought about that. I don't know why these crazy thoughts just comes and they just come, y'all. You know, like memories, things that happened in the past, way back yonder when, way back when. And sometimes I remember stuff that I didn't even know that I had remembered. You know, little stuff. And it's weird how all that, you know, stuff, it comes back sometimes, bring a smile to your face. Sometimes it may bring sadness uh, because of those memories are there. You know, sometimes, like they say, um, uh, a lot of people have suppressed memories, and uh, sometimes maybe something happens in your childhood that you can't pinpoint it. You don't know why think certain things are affecting you a certain way. It's because you suppressed some memories, and it's still bothering you, but you don't know why it's bothering you. Something happened to you. And a lot of people, when they get... Uh, Molested as a child, for instance, they'll forget about it. They they try to suppress it or, or something like that. But then, as they get older, it'll come to them. What 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 happened to them? But uh, thank God, nothing like that that has come to my memory. Just you know, little memories, things that you know, way back in my childhood with my friends in school, and you know, happy memories. Some like I said, some not so happy memories. And, uh, well, we've got company out there on the porch again. I hear child crying out there. But anyway, that's neither here nor there, y'all. I'm about to close the video anyway. Oh, Lord. Right outside of my window. Anyway, y'all. I'm about to close the video. I'm not going to cook until... Later on, my meat, I got to wait till my meat's finished thawing out. And I didn't make my apple pie that I was going to make. You know, another one of those apple things. I, I'm, this is going to be it. After I make this one, this is going to be it. It's going to be no more of those for a while. I may try to peach, you know, use the peaches. You know, the canned peaches. Not the, not the, uh, fro not the fresh peaches, but the uh, canned ones. Anyway, I can't concentrate, y'all. There's too much going on outside my window. So, I'll talk to you later. Adios.